kids, although many guests uh, try to forget their first appearance on this program, our, our next guest is the only one who actually denies ever having been here. Please welcome back a, a young actor whose films include Back to the Future and uh, The River's Edge, Just in Time, and The Perfect Night for It. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Crispin Glover. Good. Nice to see you back. You were in, in another one of those Back to the Future films, huh? Well, they, they used portions of me yeah. uh, from the from original footage, but they didn't actually... Uh, oh, didn't uh, use you? Yeah, they, 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 they put yeah. prosthetics on another actor mm -hmm. to make them look like me in interest places. So but do you still get paid for appearing in the film? Uh, I haven't, as a matter of fact. But are you entitled to payment? Uh, I think I am, yeah. Uh, well, good. I yeah. We can make some calls later in the... Oh, darn, no phone. <laughs> um... All right, now, now let's, uh, let's kind of uh, refresh the memory of the audience. I think okay. the first time you were on the show was maybe two or three years ago. Yes, that's right. Two years ago, to be I fair. Two and a half. Yeah. yeah, two and a half. And it was in conjunction with the release of Back to the Future. No, River's Edge. River's Edge, yes. okay. And, and you came out here and you had very long hair, as I recall, and, <laughs> and you seemed jumpy, sort of preoccupied, and at one point you tried to kick me in the head. <laughs> no. So this is this is a very a very interesting subject, yeah. uh, a topic I really I really want to talk about, okay. and I I know that uh, I, I have a lot to say here. I, I just uh, I, I know once we get onto that subject, I know uh, y you're not going to want to stop talking about it. I know I'm not going to want to stop talking yeah, I'm about not it. Can so, you blame me? <laughs> so maybe uh, okay, I, I'm promoting a a, a record here uh -huh. uh, uh, called "The Big Problem Does Not Equal the Solution. The Solution okay. Equals Let It Be." Okay. And uh, it's from Restless Records. That's right. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> okay. But you know. <laughs> when you get your show, you can set the agenda. <laughs> no, but now, that first appearance, you actually did try to kick me. Well, all right, all right. I can see you want me to talk about this right now, so uh, I will. All right. Uh, the fact of the matter... I hope it doesn't screw up the show. <laughs> <laughs> the, fact of, the fact of the matter is, is, is uh, I, I, I've, had, I've had a friend. Yeah. Uh, and well, I think uh, that's a good start. Yes. <laughs> And I've, I've had this friend for a, a long time. I went to a small private school called Merman School. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, and in, 19, <laughs> in 1978, uh, there was an eclipse of the sun. And we had this really great science class. It was uh, a, a really good education. And Dr. Belushin, our science teacher, had us go up uh, to see this <laughs> eclipse of the sun. Have right. you ever been in the, a complete eclipse of the sun? Well, yeah, I've been in them. You're not supposed to look at no, them. No, right, yeah. I know. And we, no. uh, of course you do, but, but it, cause it's great. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. <laughs> How can you not? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make a peek. Why not? <laughs> but so, so we were there, uh, all these kids, and there was this kid there, and all the other kids saw him, and he looked right. an awful lot like me. And uh, I, I went up to this kid, although there was something eccentric about him. There was something kind of odd about this guy. And I, and That's I where the two of you differ. <laughs> well, well, yes, he, he, had, he, had a, he had a really strange look about him, though. Yeah. And, and yet I started talking to him. There was something really intriguing about this mm -hmm. guy. What and was his a, name? Do you know his name? Ruben. Ruben Farr. Ruben, Ruben Farr. Yeah. And he had, he had a, a, a cat even way back with him at, at, the, at the time. Uh, and, and, so, and so I started talking to this guy. And all the kids, they, they all, you know, I was in junior high school. And all these kids, everybody thought the, that we looked exactly Exactly right. alike, and so we started. Uh, I, I started talking to him, and anyway, well, came out uh, bring it up to, to, to date. Uh, I, I came out. I was supposed to be on this show after right. being on the Johnny Carson show twice in a mm -hmm. row. And as 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 an actor, uh, they wanted me to come on you to, know, to I, your show. I think yeah. maybe you were right about the record. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go to the record. Uh, what is this here you have, Crispin? This, this is uh, this is a this is a record that I made. Uh, I, I've written all the words and uh, lyrics. It's, yeah. It was produced by Barnes and Barnes, and, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a big problem uh, uh, that that's it's a kind of a puzzle, right? Yeah, there are things that you have to figure out. Mm -hmm. All all there, there's a string that ties everything together, right? And 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 there's this theme, and you have to figure out right. what it is that ties it all together. There's this phone number on the back that right. people have to call up when they figure out. And there's uh, a prize. There's a prize for. Well, it? I'll call them if they. Get it right. I see. Yes. And have people gotten it right? Yeah, ten people <coughs> have gotten it correct. So you have sold some records then? Uh, yes, yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, <laughs> and, and there's there's a video. Uh, do we have a bit of yeah, the video? Right. I directed this uh, a video for one of uh, one of these songs called Clowny Clown Clown. I'm Clown. sorry. It, again, the name of the song Clowny is Clowny Clown Clown. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to take a look at that now. Yes. Is that correct? All right, Hal. If you have that in there, I believe it'd be under C. 
Go ahead and, and roll it. I was walking on the ground. I didn't make a sound. Then I turned around and I saw a clown. Had a frown. Stood on a mound. Started barking like a hound. You know, I, I thought that that was going to be kind of stupid, but it's not. <laughs> you know, from the name of the song and everything, I just thought it would be something goofy, but it, it seems to be pretty thoughtful. Um, <laughs> you're, you're an awfully good sport of media. You're just making oh. funny here at Will. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, and what other projects are you working on? Well, uh, I, I, ha I just had a, a John Borman film come out, and uh, later in the year I, I have a part in the David Lynch movie that's oh. going to be coming oh, out. Oh, that should be very interesting. Yeah, have, I mean, you, have you worked with him before? Uh, this, will, this will have been the first time, yeah, I've just worked with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you're, you're sort of living eraser head. <laughs> I must be, I, 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 I really love that movie. Yeah, it's, it's it's, it's, it was hypnotizing. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, uh, I'm glad uh, you could come back here. It's always, always interesting when you're on the show. Well, thanks, I'm, I'm and, glad to and, have and you And back. please come back again sometime well, in the future. I, well, thanks, okay, thanks very nice much. Okay, nice to see you, sure. Right. Christian Glover, ladies and gentlemen, right here.